we have a system in place that allows you to use the same username and password to access Blackboard, your student email account, computers in the library, and the student information system, SIS. We call it Easy Login. We put your Easy Login username and default password in SIS for you. Let's get you logged into SIS for the first time so you can look it up. The first thing you will need is your student ID number. This is located on the upper right side of your acceptance letter or the lower right side of your class schedule. Next, go to the college's SIS website, sis.mccnh.edu. Click on the first link, enter SIS Secure Area. Enter your student ID, including the at sign, in the box labeled SIS ID number. Your initial SIS PIN is usually your date of birth in an MMDDYY format, two digits for the month, two digits for the day, and two digits for the year. No dashes or slashes. Occasionally, the PIN defaults to the last six digits of your ID number, so if your date of birth doesn't work, try that instead. The screens we will show you sometimes vary. These are the most common ones. The first screen will tell you that your PIN has expired and that you need to change it. Enter the PIN that you used on the previous screen in the first box, then select a new PIN. The new PIN must be all numbers and at least six digits long. Remember this number because you will need it in a couple of screens. The second screen asks you to accept the terms of use. Read the terms and click Continue. On the third screen, you will set up a security question. Enter the new PIN you selected a couple of screens ago, select a security question from the drop-down box, then type the answer. The answer is case sensitive. We encourage you to select a question with an answer that will not change. That way you'll remember it in the future. The last screen asks if you want to sign up for MCC alerts. This is a system we use to notify you when the college is closed due to inclement weather or some other emergency on campus, like a power outage. You can get email alerts, a recorded voice call, a text message, or any combination of the three you like. You can also select to opt out of these alerts. We encourage you to select at least one type of alert. Enter the data in the appropriate box and click Confirm. At the top of this screen, Click on the tab labeled Personal Information. Follow the first link on this page, Student Easy Login Information. This shows you your Easy Login username and default password. Once you copy this down, click on the link called Activate Manage Easy Login. This will bring you to the Easy Login portal. Log into the portal using the information you copied down from SIS. You will be prompted to set up security questions in case you need to reset your password in the future. Do this by selecting a question from the drop-down box, typing the answer twice, selecting a different question from the second drop-down box, and typing the answer twice. Once you have completed these steps, click the Enroll button. We encourage you to change your password from the default to something that will be easier to remember. You can do this while you're logged into the Easy Login portal. Click the Change Password tab. Enter the password you used to get into the portal, then select a new password. The rules for the new password are displayed on the screen. After you enter that information, click the OK button. Don't forget to sign out of the portal when you're done. If you need additional assistance, please open a ticket by visiting the IT Help Desk website www.mccnh.edu slash helpdesk.